Wait, big man, you already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's talk about this situation that's going down in Florida, man. Now, in Florida, you've got your own little thing going on, man. You got your ATK, you got your KTA, man. You got your YNR, you got all these different acronyms. And what they amount up to are different rap crews. Now, these guys have their own affiliations. Like, there's a rapper by the name of Julio Fulio. He's affiliated with KTA. Then you've got a rapper by the name of Young and Ace, and he's affiliated with ATK, man. So it's a whole big mess, but those are the two biggest organizations, rap-wise and whatever-wise, we'll leave it at that, that are that are basically making noise out of Jacksonville. Now, Young and Ace is a humongous rap artist, man. Like, he's not huge to the point where, like, he's a household name, but for Jacksonville, he is their biggest artist, man. And he cranks out quality music, man. I, I must admit, it's quality. But since his ascension, there's been a lot of rappers who have been moving up, man. You had YNR Mookie, and then you had Julio Fulio. And now you got Broke ASF. Now, I would say what his name stands for, but Broke ASF is, man, he's a fairly new rapper, and he's extremely young, man. A talented guy getting into the game and he's obviously got a lot of money behind him because of the quality of everything that he that he puts out now there has been a situation that took place in jacksonville this weekend that's got everybody in all the chat rooms and all the fan pages going crazy because a close affiliate of broke asf and quando well not really a close affiliate of quando rhino he were you recently injured in a car accident look at this check for 160 thousand dollars one of the people who was in this video actually lost his life this weekend man and there were some folks who were definitely repping about that before we get into the specifics do me a favor make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and man let's get it all right now that we got that out of the way let's talk about jacksonville florida's rap scene just for a second here now most of you might not know that jacksonville is actually a really really active rap scene and really really active city as far as the streets are concerned man it goes down in jacksonville it was actually the capital for you know violent crime in florida for a while man it was only surpassed by other smaller cities per capita recently and then it went right back up to the top man so it's a crazy environment for there to be ongoing rap beefs and there's definitely ongoing rap beefs you got so many different crews clicks and acronyms and everybody's trying to make it out now i did a whole video about this and it was called jacksonville versus jacksonville and it breaks down some of those little specific details about like the atk and the kta now those acronyms have some extreme meaning so i ain't even going to stress on what they mean but if you look that up man you'll definitely get a lot of information there and understand you know the gist of this beats like where did all this stuff start and where did most of the majority of it get its gain its national attention in the rap scene now for the fans who've been you know locked down with this they understand exactly what's going on and there's a new artist by the name of broke asf now broke asf has an accomplice or a homeboy that he considers a brother man now he considers him a brother but he's not actually his bread blood brother and he's a gentleman by the name of mari now, this weekend, Mari actually lost his life to a shooting death, man. It was a, a, a tragic situation, you would think. But, man, for the city of Jacksonville, you would expect the reaction to be one of sad, sadness and remorse. But, man, it was none of that. There was a lot of people going out on social media talking about the fact that this gentleman had lost his life. Experience personalized Philips Hue smart lighting throughout your day. Whether relax one of those specifically being Julio Fulio. Now, Julio Fulio is one of the main artists out of Jacksonville who's gained national attention. Now, Julio Fulio has a lot of enemies in Jacksonville's rap scene, and he had close alliances with folks you wouldn't even think. Like, he actually was cool with King Von and those cats. Like, he even posted King Von on his page when he passed. And, you know, he, there's obviously that line that's already been drawn there on who affiliates with who. Now, Broke ASF is actually affiliated with NBA Youngboy and Quando Rondo, closer to even NBA Youngboy. 
because I mean, there's rumors that he's 4K Trey, and he's followed by BBG Baby Joe and a lot of the NBA fan pages and a whole bunch of folks. So to most of the fans, he's 4K Trey, and to have one of his friends be gunned down this weekend was crazy news online. And a lot of people have been talking about it. Now, Mari, the young gentleman who lost his life, I like to say rest in peace to him. But as it goes with this story, man, it is some crazy details. So Mari was actually one of the people at the video shoot in the video, I believe, for Quando Rondo's uh, video where everybody dressed up like Lil' Tim. So he was one of the people there at that video shoot. And you can see from this picture right here that he posed with Quando Rondo and he posed with Broke ASF. And man, a lot of people probably already had some some hate, some hatred in their heart for that situation. But it seemed like, man, in the rap community, he had a lot of ops. I'm talking about ATK came out and said something bad about him, you know? And that's eight, Young and Ace's them crew. So Queso, who's currently locked up, actually said something about him. And then you had Julio Fulio who went on a tirade talking about him. And we'll talk about Julio Fulio some more here in a second. But it goes to show that, man, these rap beefs in Jacksonville are just as real and just as divided by the events that take place in hip-hop as anywhere. Now, they I can't say that their lines that have been drawn are because of anything Dylan would say, like King Von, Quan Ron, or anything like that. That's not true. They've always been beefing. And it just seems like Mari had a lot of enemies and a lot of ops within the city. Now, Julio Fulio has been on a posting tirade this weekend, man. Now, originally when the news about Mari broke, he posted about that, man. And, you know, he was really disrespectful. Like that original picture post, they say it came from his page and he, he deleted it. But you know how, how the web works and how the internet works. Once it goes viral or once it hits the web, it's forever, man. And it's been floating around. And then he actually made a post of his own about the situation, man. And it was pretty insensitive. I'm going to keep it real, man. And it seems like... When the camera's rolling, I like the danger in it. The heart pounds. It defies logic. thrilling to me. At Mastercraft, we make great doors inside and out. Whether you're looking to update... Man, Julio Fulio is just putting it out there that, you know, he didn't mess with dude and he's not sorry about what took place. And he actually doubled down by posting this right here where he said, new pack, Mari, get your tough up. And now, for those of you who don't know, when you say a new pack or you smoking on a pack, it's a derogatory term for celebrating someone's untimely demise. That's the most eloquent eloquent way I could put it, man, to be honest. And basically, he didn't stop there, man. He was basically on a posting tirade all weekend. And he posted this next, and it says, what that little Day-Day smoking like. So obviously, also talking about the fact of, of L.A. Day-Day or... La Day Day, or however you want to pronounce it, you know, actually get, having a similar situation just the other day. Now, this is a crazy situation because from what I'm hearing, it had nothing to do with anything music wise. But it goes to show that, man, this thing in hip hop is getting way out of hand where you've got even your cats who are on the come up dissing and repping like they were Chicago drill rappers. Now, I know that. They don't claim to be Chicago drill rappers in Jacksonville. They got their own scene. They got their own sound. But the actions and the mannerisms and everything about Chicago drill that's taken over hip hop has been implanted in these different cities and these different rap scenes. It's spreading like, man, like wildfire, to be honest. And at some point, we got to see some type of end of this because, man, a lot of these cats have really, really good music and have bright futures, and it keeps getting extinguished, man, way too early. Now, with that, hold up, man. What do you guys think? Do you think that, man, is this getting out of hand, like with the dissing and repping on each other's, you know, grave and stuff like that going just way too far? Or is was this just going to happen regardless because these are cliques and crews with ties to the streets that just don't like each other? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. 
please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time i drop this hot content and we out of here brave